What's going on guys, my name is Sebastian, this is Resale Junk. If you're new here, my wife and I, we sell used stuff online and we teach others how to do the same. What I'm gonna show you today is how we turned $67 into roughly 460 something dollars. We're gonna go through a few things that sold over the past like week and a half that were pretty interesting and we're gonna talk about them and why I bought them, what I paid for them and what they actually sold for. So the first thing we're gonna jump into here is this Five Brothers plaid flannel shirt. Nothing crazy, just a basic flannel, nothing to really write home about. We paid $6.55 for it, and it sold for $33. Now these, look for them in good condition. If they're pilling too much, if they have holes in the back, just tend to avoid them. Bigger sizes do great, so don't avoid those, especially big and tall. People love flannels in general. Find like a nice thick flannel. You can almost always guarantee that it's gonna be worth something, especially if it's from like a cooler or a bigger brand. So be on the lookout for those. Next, this Eton Grundig radio. If you follow us on uh, Instagram, you probably already saw this on our stories but this is a really cool radio. I paid $7.10 for it, and it sold for 120 bucks within a few days. What this is, is just like an all weather band shortwave radio. Really nice, Grundig is a pretty good brand. I've found it over the years. I learned about it several years ago back in Utah, but you don't find it too often. A lot of people just pass it up and overlook it just because the radios do look quite basic. Be on the lookout for this stuff. This one sold for this much because it looked literally brand new. It was in the box, it had everything with it. So we did get a premium for it, but a used good condition one, you can expect like 70 to 80 bucks for it. So definitely look everything up if it's interesting and in the box and looks somewhat older. Next, these Adidas boots. So these actually came out of my personal collection. They weren't anything crazy. They're just like a basic pair of snow boots. Uh, I think I paid like 10 bucks for these a couple of years ago. I didn't wear them too often, so I just figured get rid of them. We got 50 bucks for them and they sold within a few days. Uh, I've seen these in the thrift stores before, like the Geo Fit model. I'm not exactly sure what specific model of shoe this is, but I have seen this one before. So yeah, just be on the lookout for these kind of like hiking style clothing items from these brands like Adidas and Nike and stuff like that because people do love hiking clothing. Okay, next is these vintage globe flannel lined pants. They were really cool. They had like this crazy buckle up there. Um, what these were, it seemed like maybe some sort of like firefighting or utility pant. I'm not exactly sure. Globe made firefighting stuff. They made a bunch of different things. So to figure out what these were, it really wasn't worth my time. They were just cool looking. I'm not sure why anyone bought these. Maybe it's for a movie, it's like for a prop or something like that. But yeah, super cool looking pants. Uh, we paid $5 for these and we got 36 bucks out of them. So not a bad little sale there. Now this is faded Nike Old Miss uh, Alabama, whatever it is, hoodie. There's nothing really special about it, but I'm showing you this because a lot of people will pass things up like this that are maybe faded or something like that. This is a nice little hoodie. People maybe want it to be faded. They would like this look and style of it. But yeah, this one we paid $6.52 for and it sold for 28 bucks. This matters because it's a Nike one. That's why we got a premium for it. If it was another brand, we probably would not get that much for it. So the brand does matter. People love Nike. I've had this thing for so long and I'm so glad it's gone. Like seriously, I, I hate propellers. I hate shipping them. I hate messing with them. I bought this in a lot of another set of like three propellers. Those other three sold way faster than this one. This thing I've been lugging around for almost the past year. But yeah, we got 70 bucks out of it actually. And I think I paid like $10 for it when the whole lot was broken down. Um, I originally bought this lot of propellers from this guy. One of them was worth like 200 something dollars or $300. So I got my money back right away. And then this was just an extra sale. Some propellers really do bring a lot of money. So don't overlook these in the thrift stores. Typically they're gonna have this uh, like number on there where it says like 13, three by four by 20, this whole number. Every propeller I have ever found in my life has had a number like that, and you can just type that in and figure out what propeller it is. Now, a lot of propellers are just cheap junk. They're not gonna be worth your time after you know shipping and all that good stuff. But again, some propellers can sell for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So just look them up if they're in good condition. Now, if they're all beat up and jaggedy and just half the blades missing, just totally skip over it. But if they look clean, if they look, I don't know, expensive and shiny, maybe look them up. Next is probably one of the most common military jackets you're gonna find in thrift stores, as far as like ones that are somewhat desirable. Uh, this is the cold weather parka. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. This is a very, very popular jacket. There's the actual tag. These jackets we find all the time. Like seriously, I find one a month probably. I mean, or maybe that's pushing it. 
I find maybe one every quarter, maybe two every quarter. But yeah, very, very common jacket. Find them in good condition, avoid really beat up ones, avoid ones that smell like cigarettes. Just because again, these are common, they're not that like super rare or anything like that. So if you have a junky one, it's not worth your time. But we paid $7 for this and it sold for 55 bucks. And that's a pretty fair price. They go anywhere from like 55 to 80, depending on the condition, the year, who made it. And by the way, guys, if you find this video helpful, smashing that like button really, really helps spread it to other people. It would really help our small channel grow. So if you haven't followed and subscribed yet, make sure you do that. But also hit that like button. This one, I'm showing you guys this because I messed up. I took way too little money for this. I'm not sure what I was thinking when I listed this item the other day. Um, it, it sold instantly, like within, it, 30 minutes it sold. It's because I priced it at 48 bucks. I'm not sure what I was doing while I was listing this, but I should have priced this around like 85 to $90. So that really sucks, but it's a learning lesson. And it's a lesson to show you guys that people still screw up no matter how good their process and no matter how much they're paying attention. But yeah, this is the brand Arcteryx. There is their little logo guy, little skeleton thing and the funky word there. But yeah, you'll find this sometimes it's, it's not a common brand to find at thrift stores whatsoever. I'm gonna tell you that right now. In the years that I've been doing this whole reselling thing, I've only found Arcteryx maybe like five to six times. So it really is a pretty rare brand because it's usually pretty expensive. Like it's a pretty nice brand. So you just won't find it too often. This one we paid $8 for and we got $48 out of it. So I'm happy someone got a good deal on it. Whatever, it's not the end of the world. I'm not gonna cry about losing 40 bucks, it's whatever. But yeah, that sucked, <laughs> really sucked. This is something we talked about all the time on the channel and on Instagram. Ariat, especially flame resistant jeans, they do sell well. These are the M4 model. You'll always have it right up there. But yeah, these are flame resistant, which means they're flame resistant. Some people just don't know that yet. If you see like this Cat 2 and the 2112, just look for it in the store when you see like FR or any of these like little tags that just don't make sense on a pair of pants. Look at that pair of pants closer because some of these flame resistant jeans like Ariat ones are expensive. Just be on the lookout. A lot of people, they just skip over these. They just think they're basic blue jeans, but you, you can clearly see we got a premium for them and we got $44 out of these and we paid $7 for them. Not that bad. Now, a lot of companies do make flame resistant jeans. A lot of them are just like crappy, uh, like uniforms. So avoid those brands because they really just don't sell well. They're just so cheap and just mass produced junk that it's not gonna be desirable. What you wanna really go after is like bigger, cooler brands that are making flame resistant clothing. Those will bring a premium rather than sticking to like those kind of junky generic brands. Now you can find flame resistant jackets, pants, uh, long sleeve shirts. You can, you can name it, like seriously, they make everything pretty much flame resistant. Look everywhere, you know, don't pass up a t-shirt that's flame resistant, it'll bring you more money usually. So yeah, that's $67 into 460 bucks. Nothing crazy, nothing too special. Maybe that Grundig radio is kind of cool and just kind of rare or whatever, but overall, all of this stuff you can just find all the time at thrift stores. It's really not rocket science, there's nothing crazy here. It's just the consistency of going and actually finding it. If you guys wanna learn a little bit more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. A ton of free stuff every single week posted here. But then also make sure you grab our free beginners course. The link's gonna be in the description below. We cover eBay, we cover hustling online, and we just kinda of teach you how to start this online entrepreneurial journey. So yeah, make sure you check that out. Smash that like button. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. And until next time, cheers.